everyone, it is day 24. No intro today because today we're going straight to speed building. Speed building is something that I absolutely love. We haven't done any of this challenge so far. This is the free to play challenge. By the way, exactly one year ago, we had a really, really nice house that we built in the free to play challenge and we're gonna do the same starting now. And I did get a comment on a video earlier that y'all wanted to see the Hollywood home be built. So the Hollywood home is exactly what I built. Also, now that it's time for the garden update, let's go ahead and change your outfit as well to something more garden feely. So yeah, this is my new garden feel and this is my new awesome movie theater house so let's go ahead and build kind of like a movie theater slash auditorium that's what i'm trying to go for right now but let's go ahead and start the speed build i know this is extremely fast i am sorry but this is like nearly two hours worth of uh constant building sped down into like a 14 minute long YouTube video so that's the best I can possibly do so it is very fast but anyways inside of our house on the main floor we've got three main rooms we've got like an entryway we've got this room with a whole ton of stairs and we got the actual auditorium room which is where the movie theater screen is and so on and then all those stairs on the very top floor of the stairs we have like a um, I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it's like another room for the movie so we can kind of see it from up there. Uh, kind of like a balcony, I guess. Uh, and then also in the middle of all the stairs, we have like an actual home in there with like bedrooms and bathrooms and like so on. So it's like an ordinary house. In today's video, we can't build obviously the whole house in, in two hours. So we're just going to build what we can. And so far, the easiest thing for me to do is break the house down into segments. And I really like to segment my house because this large area is way too big for just like one thing. So this is what I got so far down back in the normal speed. This is what I have so far. I built walls around the stairs so you couldn't see the stairs because stairs kind of look kind of ugly. And right here, I'm going to build kind of like a concession stand inspired by my own movie theater that I go to in real life so yeah let's go ahead and start on that this concession stand is gonna be mirrored on both sides which is why I have the cash registers on both sides basically I'm gonna build like an L-shaped counter um, and then that L-shaped counter is gonna have the same thing on both sides kind of like a assembly line type thing but not really assembly line like um, yeah I thought this was really fun to build basically on the bottom of this I have well, also I am experimenting with things and it also died somehow as well. I'm, I'm not quite sure how, but I think I placed like a thing on top of me and then it kind of pushed me under the floor somehow when I died. But anyways, I'm using the gray bricks to like, tr as a trim, I guess. And then on top of this trim, I'm going to put countertops and the countertops will be white and then we'll have like a trim on top of that as well, like a gray trim as well so yeah this is like kind of the l-shaped counter and then on the counter as well where we will be going to sell our concessions at this time i'm not quite sure if i'm gonna make this into like a movie theater or like a game show kind of similar to like america's got talent or like something like that in a previous video a long time ago i think like a year or two ago adami released like a kind of pets got talent type update where they had like a voting booth and the voting uh, palettes and all kinds of cool stuff like that so I might use that again because I did make a video a long time ago like a pets got talent one and I thought that was really fun to make so I might do that again but I'm not quite sure also because this is like a movie theater house so it wouldn't really make sense to do like a non movie theater off of this so We'll see, only time will tell. But I changed all of the trim color to black because this white cabinet had a back upper, tr a black upper trim. So why not have black on the bottom, black on top, and then the white countertop in the middle. I think that looks great. And then I'm also gonna make signs with it, these black signs right here that say pay here with the cash registers at the very end of the counter. We're also going to do some more segmenting so that we can get this archway here and put auditorium one there, just so we can kind of show the, sh the signs of this place and like where people should go. I, I really like the way this house is turning out so far. Like I know that this house has just been started, but I really like it so far. Also, these wall panels make really cute little details as well. 
I use those in my main account's house as well, which I really do like as well. If you haven't seen my main account's house, uh, definitely go look at some previous videos because I, I, I do have a really nice house and I like my house in Adopt Me on my main account and it's using the same theme. This is like the, the only theme that I know how to build with so that's why I'm kind of doing it. Also these things right here that I'm building right now are supposed to be like TVs that show like the items. Like at my current movie theater we have like a I don't know, five or six TV screens with like things on it that say like the menu items, like a large popcorn or, I don't know, you guys understand. But yeah, basically like a menu, kind of like on a TV type thing, which is what like a lot of restaurants do these days, also movie theaters now too. So I'm going to be selling cheeseburgers candy because these two things were like really easy to find on the catalog. I was kind of struggling to find like the last thing that we should sell. Now we're not actually gonna sell these things, these things are just for show, obviously, but I am really thinking of what else I can use as a sign because that burger light is perfect and that candy thing is also perfect as well. So I'm kind of struggling to find that last thing. I thought I was going to do the apple, but it looks kind of bulky and kind of bad there and way too shiny looking, so I didn't do the apple. And instead, I'm going to make a cute little pizza. Uh, this did take a while for me to make, but thanks to all of the tools that Adopt Me has for builders now, it makes things so much easier. We have these drag to select, we have these perfect movement things, we have all kinds of tools that we can help us use to build. And we can also copy and paste like certain things as well, which really helped me make this pizza thing. So yeah, absolute great so far. Also. We have this diner fridge that I'm going to build on both sides. Next up, I'm going to make a popcorn machine because I swear that we had a popcorn machine, but apparently we don't. So I looked up a YouTube, uh, I don't, I guess a YouTube speed build for how to build a popcorn machine. I didn't follow it exactly. I just built kind of my own type of popcorn machine based off of theirs. But anyways, I will link their video in the description as well in case you guys want to check out that one because their popcorn machine is a million times better than mine. I just didn't want to spend all of the time to build a perfect popcorn machine. I'd rather spend more time building like a nice house instead of just one little detail in the house. Like, I know detail is good and important in a house, but it's not that important. I'd much rather have a fully built house or a mostly built house than just one popcorn machine. So that's why I chose not to follow the tutorial perfectly. Um, also, I tried to do the whole copy paste thing, which I did earlier, but didn't really work right here. So I just rebuilt the same popcorn machine here as well. Also, now that we're building and doing the same thing over and over, I want to share some stats with you guys. So the fossil aisle is done. We cannot craft any more fossil theme pets, so I'm going to tell you guys the results. In total, we crafted 28 Brachiosaurus pets, which were $25 each, and in total, we spent 700 bucks. Ooh, that's a lot of bucks. 700 bucks making these 28 Brachiosaurus pets. Next up, we crafted 22 Velociraptors, uh, which is actually, uh, that's enough to make a Mega Neon, a Neon, and have two spares. So that's, that's quite a bit. 22 Velociraptors crafted for 100 bucks each, which equals $2,200, which is quite a bit of bucks just to spend on Velociraptors, which is uncommon pet. Next up, we also bought or crafted 13 Ankylosaurus pets in total throughout the whole challenge at 400 bucks each, which was a total of 5,200 bucks spent in total throughout the whole series. Next up, we have the ultra rare Elasimoraptus. I don't even know how to say that still, and the event's already over. The ultra rare, we crafted eight ultra rare dinosaur pets, and they each cost 1,200 bucks. So in total, we spent 9,600 bucks on the ultra rare pets. Next up, the legendaries. We got three legendary dinosaur pets through crafting, which cost 3,600 bucks each, which in total is 10,800 bucks. So after doing everything, all of the pets, that was 74 total pets. Yes, we got 74 pets from the Fossil Isle event, totaling a total of 28,500 bucks. That is absolutely insane, wow. We spent 28,500 bucks on dinosaurs total for this update. Now that is a lot, that is definitely worth it because we would have otherwise spent the bucks well, I, I guess I'm building like a nicer house, or we could have also spent the bucks on um, 
desert eggs, which is a little bit less efficient in my opinion. So I am happy that we were able to do all of this throughout this challenge as well. Uh, and back to the auditorium, theater, movie theater, uh, concession stand area, whatever you want to call it. I'm building this little monument thing right here. This thing in the middle is kind of like a statue, but really crappy looking. Um, but I did the best I can possibly do. And I put FFP, which is Feral Free Plays. And then I put the turtle on top in the display stand right there, back into normal speed right now. This is the finished product of, um, I guess, the concession area right here. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good if I do have to say. Look at that. This is a fully functional concession stand area with a cute little statue in the middle. I love the way that this area turned out, and I'm so happy with it, and I cannot wait to keep building some more, and keep building some more is exactly what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and start with this main room right here, the entryway. This room is way too big for an entrance, and I don't really want to build too much in it, so I'm also going to section it off a little bit. Um, and put one room on each side was was uh, initially what I was thinking, but I did close the right side off because I feel like we didn't need another room right there. And just the pet raising area on the left side when you first walk in is definitely good enough I'd, if I had to say so. Also, I built all of these walls white, but in the future I am going to change them to gray because I do not like the white color of it and it doesn't fit with my building style, which I'll talk about more on day 26, I think. Um, so yeah, this is what the house looks like for now, the front entryway and also the pet raising area right there. This is just temporary, everything in this front area right now is completely temporary and I will change it on day 26. Because to be honest, I, I don't really like it. I'm not really a fan of it. So I will change it. Like that thing right there, this little entry area, I completely deleted the entire thing because I did not like it at all. So I did have some trouble building this. Uh, also, this is the pet, pet raising area as well. I've always had my pet raising areas like higher up than everything else. I don't know why, but I always build like a little platform that it sits on. Why? I have no idea, but I've always done that in the past, so I'm going to continue to do it, I guess, just to kind of make it feel like it has some depth to it. Um, yeah, I, I know that that doesn't really make sense, but that's what I like to do with my pet raising area, and then I put my pet beds on there, which I had some pet beds in the very top of my house, which I dragged all the way down to here, and then that's where I'm going to keep my pet raising area. Also, these posters and everything in here are not going to stay. Once again, like I said earlier, all, everything in this front foyer room is going to change on day 26 because I did not like the look of it at all. Well, besides the shape of it, I'm going to keep both walls and the pet raising area on the left. So I grabbed all of the furniture that I thought would look cool. I put a lemonade pitcher and I put a pizza right there for some food so that we have some food. And then I also put two bathtubs there because this house did not come with any bathtubs for some reason. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. But now let's go ahead and do the final house tour for day 24. Once again, this is not finalized on day 26. I will build some more. But this is what the house looks like as it stands right now. And I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite builds I've ever built. Even though it is not complete, I love it so much. This pet raising area and the foyer could use some work. But the concession stand area is beautiful. I've never built anything like it before. And I'm so, so proud and happy of my building work. And if you are as well, make sure to subscribe to this video. And thank you guys so, so much for watching this series so far. I look forward to being back here for day 25 as we expand our inventory even more. So thank you so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl that plays. Goodbye.